My name is Cameron Diaz. I'm 41 years old, on my way to 42. Um, I am an actor in film. I recently just um, wrote a book called The Body Book, co-authored with a wonderful writing partner named Sandra Bark. And I grew up in Long Beach, California. I live in Los Angeles and New York. I go back and forth, but um, I like the seasons. And um, what else do I need to tell you? That's, I think that's it, right? Okay. <laughs> When people say, oh, I want to be like you, I want to be an actor, I want to look like you, the question I always ask them is why? Like, really, why? And people, and especially in America, this idea of fame, that to be famous means that you're successful, that you've, you're happy. It's not about, I, I don't do what I do because I want to be famous. That's part of, being famous is my job. That's, I am not, when I'm home, I am not, and I'm with my family and my friends, I am not famous. I am me, and I'm Cameron, and that doesn't, fame does not define me. And so if you are looking for fame to define you, then you will never be happy, and you will always be searching for happiness, and it, you will never find it in fame. And so it goes back to, I think for me, authenticity, intention. Why do you want to do anything you do? It should not be motivated by something that you think is going to make fulfillment comes from within you by being authentic to yourself, not ch chasing fame. Um, I was really fortunate. The education that I got from my parents was really an amazing, I was so lucky to have just the best parents who really um, trusted and um, empowered and um, you know, they just gave us everything. They, there wasn't a moment where my parents weren't teaching us. They were always teaching us, very actively teaching us um, work ethic, um, how to be a good person, how to treat people, how to be in, um, a good human being. Like That was a very important thing to them. And um, there was always lessons, always lessons. And um, I think that they just um, loved with every part of their being. They loved us so deeply. And, um, you know, that I think is just to, to know what it feels like to be loved, to know how to love and how to be loved is, is such an important thing. And they really showed us, my sister and I, how to, you know, how to do that. When my father died, the moment when he, to, that not knowing what that meant, not, not knowing, um, what it would mean to be without him, I think was probably the hardest moment. And to have to see my mother have to say goodbye to him, and oh, that was just really hard, and all the family. But yeah, I think that that moment of not knowing really was so painful. And then after that, knowing that, learning the lessons, like being very soon, like the next morning when I woke up, and I was, I had a, a I had this moment where I was like, oh my God, my dad is dead. Like he's dead, he's gone. And I had this moment where I had a visual of my dad standing next to me. And all of a sudden I looked over and he was gone. And there was this massive hole, this huge, huge hole that was so deep I couldn't see the end of it. It was so dark, it was so overwhelming. And, and on the other side of that hole was this massive pile of dirt. It was so high, it, like I couldn't see the top of it. And I instinctively, I went, I walked around the hole, I saw myself walking around the hole and I started, I rolled up my sleeves and I started climbing through the dirt. And as soon as I dug my hand into the dirt, I pulled my hand out and there was strands of emeralds and rubies and in this hand was a gold goblet. And I was so perplexed for a moment and I just immediately all of a sudden I realized, okay, where he once was is now this, he has left me a, 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 a task, a responsibility that I must climb up this this pile of dirt <laughs> that seems so overwhelming and I must dig out all of the treasures that he's left behind, all of the jewels, all of the lessons, all of the things that are going to enrich my life. And um, I just saw myself climbing through it and I'm still climbing up that, you know, up to the top and, and I've gotten so many, he's left me so many beautiful treasures.
So 